Hello everyone and welcome back to the Study Chew channel. My name is Viola and I'm so excited to be part of this project. Since everyone is pretty much staying at home right now, lots and lots of websites and articles suggest that now is the best time, the perfect time, to start learning a new language. So I'm here today to share with you how you can start learning a language at home for free in just five easy steps. So just to give some background, I was brought up monolingual, that is, when I was growing up, I only spoke English, but since then I have self-taught Mandarin and Italian, I'm currently learning Portuguese, and I have dabbled in French, and I study Latin as part of my degree. The first thing that you need to do, which is the most simple and also the most obvious step, that is to decide what language you want to learn but I would suggest make sure that it's a language you are interested in and one that you're going to find fun and enjoyable to learn. The second step is a quick Google search. Learn language free online. That is literally what I do when I'm about to learn a new language. After going through a couple of websites and articles, I'm sure you'll be able to find some resources. There are lots of websites that have so many free resources online where they teach you the very basics, they teach you the basic grammar structures, so those are the websites that I would use to start learning. There are also lots of free online courses. I'll link a couple of websites in the description box below which you can check out. These are completely free online courses, all you have to do is just sit down, find the time and do the work. There are also a lot of podcasts that are completely free and that will teach you a language. So go and have a search on Spotify, have a search on your podcast app and then on top of that we have YouTube. YouTube is full of tons and tons of free online learning resources for languages. So at this point that will have you covered. You've got websites, you've got free online courses, you've got podcasts and then you've got YouTube videos. My third tip is to completely and fully immerse yourself in this language. I mean you are learning this language at home. You're not flying off to the country, you're not hearing this language in day-to-day -day life. You are going to be learning this language at home, in your room, using your phone or your computer. But what I would recommend is start creating a playlist full of music in your target language or search for pre-existing playlists. That way you can just listen to music in the background but your brain is getting used to the accent, the way the language sounds and you're just getting accustomed to it. This honestly really, really helps with pronunciation, which I think is a really important aspect of the language to grasp while you're learning it as a beginner. When I used to go to the gym, I'll just put on my Italian playlist and listen to lots of Italian music just to get used to the sounds. Similarly with Portuguese, I'm doing that at the moment. And then something that is also really simple and fun that you can also do because I am sure that you will be on Netflix a lot in the coming weeks and months. Someone on Instagram asked me recently why I was watching Elite in Portuguese and not in the original Spanish. This is because every time I watch Netflix, I want to be practicing my languages. I want to be listening to the audio so that I can pick up words and phrases in that language. And trust me, you do. So I would definitely recommend doing that because you're going to be on Netflix anyway, it just takes a bit more brain power to be reading the subtitles and subconsciously not only are you getting used to the language and hearing the accent, you will pick up on some words and phrases, believe me. The fourth step is to find a language exchange partner. There are lots of free apps and websites where you can do this. Hello Talk and Tandem Exchange are examples. It's really important to practice the language with a native speaker. So I would definitely recommend trying to find someone who is a native, who is looking to learn your language and you're looking to learn their language and you can just have a chat and correct each other and help each other because that's really fun and you'll get to make a new friend. It's really easy to find someone, just use these free apps and websites. Alternatively, if after watching this video you decide to start learning a new language, comment below what you're going to learn and maybe you can find a language exchange partner through the StudyTube project. That'd be pretty cool. The fifth step is to just make sure that you are going over vocabulary in the target language for at least five to ten minutes every single day. And that really is not that much. It really is not that much time. You can either use an app like Duolingo or Memorize. 
I personally don't think you can learn a language using just Duolingo. You definitely need to use other resources with it. I really personally like the Memorize language courses because I think the vocabulary that you learn is actually really useful and the phrases are things that you would actually use in real life. So I like to use the Memorize course for 15 minutes every day. And then also you should be making vocabulary lists from your online learning, whether it's from websites, YouTube videos, free online courses, whatever it is, you should definitely be keeping track of the vocabulary that you learn, either on an online flashcard app like Anki or just by writing out flashcards yourself. Whatever you do, just make sure that you're reviewing this vocabulary regularly and you will be on your way to learning this new language. If you want to see more videos on being a student, traveling, language learning, etc., check out my YouTube channel, Viola Helen. I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has got you excited to start learning a new language. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on our daily videos at 6 p.m. Bye.